All right. We are on the hunt for another VW. Most, uh, most likely it's gonna be a bug, 1966 or older. And uh, we've been doing some extensive research on the internet and today we are going to look at other cars. Notchback, VW Notchback, what year? That, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then possibly um, test drive a bug. I've never driven one before, but the goal is to buy one. So here we go. So this is a message for all the parents out there because when I was 16, my dad made sure that I learned how to drive a stick shift. Now, I fought my dad so hard on learning how to drive a stick shift. I didn't, I didn't care to, I didn't want to. And it's because he was giving me this 2003 Saturn Ion, which I did not care for at the time, that was stick shift. He said, if you want this car, you gotta learn how to drive it. I said, I don't want the car, and I don't wanna learn how to drive it. I was a little shit back then, I'm thankful to this day, every single time I get behind a car that is a stick shift, that my dad made me learn. Why? Because today I'm cruising with my dad on a Sunday morning, getting some coffee in the VW bus, and guess who drove here, baby? Me. I did, because my dad made me learn how to drive a stick. So this is a message to all my fellow parents. Make sure your kid knows how to drive a stick so that they can have these experiences with you. Well, we did it. Today, I bought my first VW classic car. All thanks to my old man for knowing the guy who had it, a VW notchback. And I'll tell you what, I'm very excited about it. So am I. Hello, and today is the day. Isn't that right, Leon? Today's the day that dad goes to pick up his new car. His new car that you don't get to ride until you're like four. But you can look at it and you can enjoy it as much as dad's gonna enjoy it by just staring at it. Cause that's how much dad loves this car. In all seriousness, today's the day. I'm going to pick up my new car, VW Notchback 1965, air-cooled pancake engine baby, all red. I really hope when I get there the roof rack is still on it. The guy said that it's really difficult to find a roof rack for this car, so he's gonna keep the one that's on it. And after doing my research, he is correct. It is very difficult to find a roof rack for a 1965 notchback. But that's okay, huh, Leon? Hey, Leo, we're gonna find it. We're gonna find a roof rack for it, huh? Yeah. Dad gets a new car today. How cool is that? Anyway, we'll see you over there. I gotta go to the bank still and get the money. And as soon as we're finished, we're gonna be cruising over there. All right, we did it, baby. We did it. We're in the notch bank. All right, I gotta be careful because I'm driving. All right. We got the old man taking it for a spin. So, I don't have any speakers. I will have speakers in the car. Mark my words, I will have speakers. But, that is why I have this. And this is gonna supply great music for a great ride. Isn't that right, babe? Right. Actually, I forgot to get your reaction on video. Well, I FaceTimed him. I said, oh my God, come outside. And all he was like, hey, we can't hear or see you. Click. <laughs> so then I re FaceTimed him. And yeah, super cool, brand new toy. Brand new, 
That thing is like 65 years old. 